and those people were mm. from this village. Okay. Then there is another village in the top of it's written, and then the these people were from this village. Mm -hmm. So the history starts that Georgia has Georgia has been one of the smallest but very strong kingdom. But uh, at the end of the 18th century, we had King Eric II, Heraclius, uh, whose tomb is in Svetis um, Yesterday we saw his tomb. If you go went inside the church. And uh, first time in our history, we asked help to Russian Empire. And uh, they made agreements, so this was a treaty, treaty between Georgia and Russia, that they should have protected us. But at the beginning of 19th century, like Russians never keep their word, uh, the word, I make you sure. And it's the protection of Russia annexed Georgia. 1801, it was first time when Russia annexed Georgia. It lasted until the end of the First World War ending. So 1918, we got independence, but it lasts only four years because 1921, Soviet Union created and they occupied not only Georgia, but the other 14 countries. So in all 15 countries became the part of Soviet Union. It lasted 70 years. So from 1921 until 1991, then we got again second independence. That's why in Georgia we are celebrating two Independence Day, 1918 and 1920, uh, 1991, okay? From 1991, Soviet Union collapsed, thank God, and we got independence. <laughs> then we had first president, and the, as you know, as good person you are and patriotic and you love your country, nobody let you rule the country. So he was a very nice person. Our first president, Zviad Gamsakurde, he was killed after two years. Then we had the biggest Georgian mafia president, Eduard Chevarnadze who had very good labels and contacts with Russia. He led the country for 10 years until 2003, from 1993 to 2003. And then we got new president, Mikhail Saakashvili. So what you see in Georgia, like new roads, electricity, gasification, city of love, was renovated in his presidential time. Bridge of peace, presidential house, Batumi city, Black Sea Resort, everything was renovated in his presidential time, but not from his money, but from our money because 20% from the salary we pay to the government. That's why in Tbilisi we have a lot of strikes and protest waves. We ask government, like, we give you money, so where is gold? Sometimes we are protesting, uh, which is very uh, logic, right? So that's memorial dedicated to the people who died in World War II. And at the end of the wall, uh, there was a small memorial. <coughs> that memorial belonged to the heroes who died in 2008, because before Ukraine, Russia again attacked us in 2008. And uh, the people died in that war. Uh, as you know, I don't know if you know, but Stalin was not Russian, but he was pure German. We are named Yosef Lugashvili. So he was born in Gori, 40 minutes from Tbilisi. He was born there and raised there. So he is pure Georgian. But he did nothing for Georgia, even opposite. He was telling Georgians in the front row. And he killed all the intelligence people who was against the Russia propaganda. So that's why it was uh, prohibited in the Soviet Union period to speak in Georgian language. And as you know, Georgia has its own unique language and our unique alphabet. So this is very unique alphabet, doesn't look like any other alphabet in the whole world. And imagine when the people are coming from Dubai and when, when you ask why you don't speak English, I mean the whole country, because Russia just stopped us to develop and also prohibited us to speak in Georgian during these 70 years. Plus, they were atheists, so they did not believe in God, and they prohibited us to pray in the church. So the Christianity in the Union was very prohibited. So people, of course, were continuing to baptize the kids. Everybody was speaking in Georgian at home, and they still continue to learn language, of course. That's why the people uh, survived, and they saved our language and the streets. In 1991, that's why uh, it was a very happy time for us, but at the same time, it was very sad, because the economics also collapsed. That's why at the time it was very dangerous, it was very um, kind of poor, the country, and a lot of Im the immigrants, uh, freedom. yeah, freedom. freedom, of course, it was very important, but imagine the people were queuing in the supermarket to get bread at least, because they were giving only two or three uh, so the, the bread, because it was the poverty at this time. That's why Georgia yeah. been through a very uh, hard time during the 90s. And a lot of women uh, left the country and they lived in Italy, in Greece, in the US and the other European yeah, countries and they saved a lot of generation and their kids. They were sending them out.
That's why even yeah, nowadays, yeah. one or two oh. members of the group is family is abroad. <laughs> and they are sending money and supporting their family. Okay. Uh, this is a part of the wall. So where we are in the city, it has surrounding the wall. We call it the Great Wall of Georgia. Georgia. And uh, this is third longest wall in whole European country. This is five kilometer length a wall around the city because people lived inside the castle, like where we are, and outside the castle. So if they would see that enemy was coming, there were several watchtowers and they would start preparation. That's why uh, here, that's why I'm offering this tour, because if you take this electric car tour, they will take you to the wall where you will go up actual wall and you will see this wall. Even uh, below the ground, you will have this long uh, the, the wall and you will take pictures. That's why it's a nice uh, view. This is the person was a philosopher whose books we are still learning at school. That's why the person was uh, born in this town. That's why we dedicated the statue to him. And Solomon Zodakuri, the very famous uh, philosopher, is, uh, was lived here. And uh, the, the big building, what we saw also when we took pictures, it's a National Museum of Sirnadi. There are a lot of artifacts. And also we have self-taught painter, Pirosmani, the short film, Nico Pirosmani, really was his real name, but everybody calls him Pirosmani. Even if you go to a dry bridge market, like a flea it's market, city. it's really silly, a very nice place. You go there and yes. you will see a lot of These paintings and so a lot of old-fashioned items, like from your grandma's generation and your mom's generation, you will see like telephone, vinyl disc, and a lot of very it's interesting stuff. Memorial so if you have wall. time in Tbilisi, I recommend you to visit Dry Bridge Market, which is a little bit looks like a flea market, very nice next to the public service hall, the mushroom building, which is in a city center. All right? So uh, it's a very nice place to visit. So this is a part of the wall which is surrounding on the city. Okay? So uh, anyone wants to do the tour, because I have to call and the car will come and you can start going. How many persons in the car? 18 persons can see. It's, uh, it's open car, so you will oh, see it. 20 lady per person. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we are going. Okay, so raise your hand so I will count. No? No? Okay, eight person. So you will go uh, on a tour and rest of you, you can just roaming in this place. And there is also the souvenir. And we